morning guys it is almost 11 and I am going out to do some errands and thought I'd uh, take you along some people seem to enjoy also see uh, seeing what I'm doing in the day um, I just got to get a couple things and come home tidy up the house and um, start grooming dogs. I think I'm going to start with Mozzie. He's always the hairiest. Uh, then comes Miggy in the hairiest uh, uh, line of order they go in. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I'm headed to Meyer and to my P.O. box. running around done at Myers and I went in their little gas station here to get me a big pop but as you guys probably saw I fill up my cup a lot with ice because I can't stand drinking a lukewarm coke so I put a lot of ice in it but I need some caffeine today <laughs> so don't judge me on the coke I don't want to see comments about my coke okay so now I'm off to the post office when I get home I'll show you what I got at Meyer if you're interested See if you guys can hear them. What are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> they were howling. I don't know if you can hear them. It's dark in here. Put my stuff down and let them out. <laughs> oh. Have a chorus of howlers. <laughs> nope, didn't make the mark today. I got up, got ready, and left. Yes, hi, 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 oh, hi, oh, hi. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I got two other boys to let out. I got two other boys to let out. I love you too. Okay. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> You think I've been gone forever? <laughs> oh my goodness. No, didn't make the bed for all of you that think I um, clean too much. <laughs> that I'm a neat freak. I'm not. Oh yeah, closet hanging open. I'm not. I don't put that much emphasis on my house like a couple people thought. <laughs> I mean, my living room's pretty much clean, but kitchen's not. Kitchen's not at all. I still have my Christmas tree shops stuff I bought over here. I guess I can show you guys that too. And sink full of dishes. My Octafry's still out. Toaster oven's hanging open. So, um, for those who thought that maybe I put too much emphasis on cleaning, I really don't. <laughs> I was just showing me cleaning up my house when it needs to be clean. Which it needs to be tidied up now, now that I'm home. Hi, kitty. Hi. Hi. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I was gone so long. I was gone for probably 45 minutes. <laughs> I was gone so long. You guys missed me so much. 
Yes! Yes! Okay, let me show the guys what I bought. Okay, let's show you guys what I bought. I'm going to show you my frozen stuff first so I can put it in the freezer. I bought two of these. Healthy Choice Cafe Steamers. The Grilled Chicken Marinara with Parmesan. These are really good, guys, for a frozen meal. I really like these. And they were on sale for $2 each. So I got two of them for me. And I need to put those in my freezer. And I don't think I bought anything else cold. Ugh. This is my freezer. And what else did I get? Sorry, this is kind of impromptu. I don't really do this kind of stuff on my channel. Oh, I got some command hooks. My daughter wanted some to like hang her belts and stuff on inside her closet. So got those. I had to get one of these for in my kitchen for my um, toaster oven, my Keurig, and the coffee pot. I want all, all in. I want it all to be plugged in on here, but I have three plugs, so I got this to stick on there. So they all. Stick in there. Look at guys, look. I left a toaster oven with bacon grease hanging open. <laughs> oh, yes. So I'm normal, just like you guys. Don't think my house is always clean, guys. And I got myself uh, just a clear um, bag for my makeup and stuff for when we go to um, Mackinac. I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I wanted something to keep it. I was just putting it like in a mire sack here. Um, so I got this just to put my toiletries in. It was cheap. I think it was like $5.99. And I got a couple hand creams for my grandma. Her birthday is the 12th and she wanted some hand cream. So she's not diabetic, but this stuff works really good for dry skin. Their um, regular lotion too uh, works good for dry skin, even if you're not diabetic. So I got her this one to try. And this one here, Healing Hand Cream. Got her this one too. She's in a nursing home now. Oh! Oh, it's a mailman. It's a mailman. They want to kill him. Hold on, guys. <laughs> the mailman was just laughing at them. I said, you know they want to kill you, right? He goes, oh, they all do. <laughs> Here's what, what my husband got in the mail. Thought I'd show you since I'm showing you all this stuff. He ordered him some rock port shoes. Rock ports are really comfortable, guys. If there's any guys out there that uh, want a comfortable shoe, he's got some uh, like work shoes too, like for with dress pants and stuff too. These are more like casual. Anyway, thought I'd show you what the mailman brought. Okay, so my grandma's birthday is the 12th and she'll be turning uh, 87. 87 years old. She's in a nursing home, so it's kind of hard to buy her stuff now since she's not in her apartment anymore. So I got her those nightgowns I shared in a previous video and I got her some of these hand creams. They're having a grandparents day picnic Sunday I'm going to. So that's the 10th. So I figure I'll just give her her uh, birthday gift that day too. So, and I got her a birthday card. So that's for grandma. And let's see here, what else did I get? Oh, I got some apples, some red delicious apples. Woo! Sorry guys, I should take this stuff out of the bag. Hold on. Got some uh, red delicious apples for my husband. Those are his favorite kind of apple to throw in my basket here. And then I got another basket. You guys probably know what this is. Uh, <laughs> that I hold the dog's toys in. Um, Right here, as you can see, it's getting pretty full, and they can't find certain toys like their balls and stuff, they always get to the bottom. So, I figure there's another basket, <laughs> there's nothing in it right now. And I gotta take the tag off because Magnum will probably eat it. Yes, he will, he'll probably eat it. So, I figured I'd get a I got another basket to like maybe put their tennis balls and stuff like that in here, so and their bones so they can find them better. So Another basket for the boys' stuff, and I got this coat. Um, it's just a black uh, coat, not real thick, because I wear a lot of hoodies, as you know, and um, 
I didn't want something real thick because I, if I wear hoodies, I don't want something too bulky. But it's got this hood that has kind of like a sweatshirt material in it. And then there's a front little tie so you can tie it a little tighter if you want. It's just a plain black coat. I figure it might be cold in Mackinac, so we might see he's trying to eat the tag off that. Yeah, you're dragging it around, so I gotta get that tag off. I actually had to cut the handles off of it, so I'm probably gonna have to cut the handles off this too, because he tried to chew the handles off of it. So, there's that for toys. And what else did I buy? I don't even remember. Oh, I got some um, some socks. They were on clearance for $3.50, so I got me one. And I got one for my daughter to wear with my, um, I got some new Skechers tennis shoes and I have those um, socks that are real low cut, if you know what I'm talking about. And I needed some with a little bit higher. Oh, oh my goodness. Really? I'm expecting my Chewy.com order. Is that what's, oh no, it was just a neighbor. You guys, really? You're interrupting me all the time. <laughs> so I can show these people what I bought. You guys are bad. Bad puppies. You're bad puppies. Go on. Go on. <laughs> They're so crazy. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm sorry. This is probably not like any... If you watch haul videos, this is probably unlike any other one you ever watched. Anyways, socks. Um, Hairspray. I love this hairspray. Volume hair spray. I got two cans of that. And then I got the boys some more Whew. bully sticks. I know a lot of you say you'll never give your dog a bully stick because of what it is. But I'm telling you, it's great for their teeth. Uh, you gotta get over what it is, guys. <laughs> My, um, when they went to the vet, uh, the three, actually all of them, because they all got the Lyme vaccination, but they said their teeth were looking wonderful. And as you know, I had a problem with my dog's teeth and them getting a lot of teeth pulled. Um, three of them. So this, and then the dental treats I'm giving them, um, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of them offhand. They're coming in my Chewy.com order, so I'll show them to you later. But uh, these, along with those dental treats, are doing a world of difference for my dog's teeth. So let me tell you, get over what these are made of. And if you don't know, Google it. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you yet. I'm here. This is a family video. <laughs> but anyways, these are great for their teeth. Let me tell you. I think our Chewy.com order came and they were so busy with their bully sticks that no one barked. I can't believe it. And the truck even parked in our driveway. Yep, it's here. Okay, let me get this in the house. Okay, let's show you guys what I got. Excuse my appearance today. I did not throw any makeup on or do my hair. I just pulled it back and was on my way this morning. You want to know what's in here too? Huh? Yeah? Okay. He was chewing on the box. On the corner of the box, trying to get in it. Now, as I said before, I'm not sponsored by Chewy.com. I'm just showing you um, what I'm using and how I'm getting it delivered. That's it. Not getting paid by anybody. <laughs> okay. And they don't send me anything for free. This is all paid for by myself. And I think all of this came to $117. Okay. In this box, we have some dog food and some dental treats. So I got a bag of the dogs, dog food, the older dogs. So as you saw in the previous video, I got the buy one get one free. So I have those downstairs. So what I'm going to do is pull one of those out and put this downstairs um, to save. Because uh, I want to have a stock up of dog food because I'm not a prepper by no means. I don't want this to be like, oh, it's about prepping. It's about being prepared in case for a week's worth of time you can't go anywhere. Um, stores are out of everything. I mean, look at the hurricanes that are coming. 
and it's just about being prepared. So I want to have two, always have two extra bags of dog food um, stored in my basement in case of emergency. Because these dogs can go through a bag of dog food in a month. Now when he starts eating it, it may be three weeks. <laughs> I don't know. So I may stock up more. Okay, so got their bag of dog food. Oh, I'm sorry, did I get you? Oh, I'm so sorry. I hit your face when I slapped that hole. So sorry. I'm so sorry. You said so sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, and then here's the uh, dental treats I was talking about. And I know someone wrote, Purina is evil on one of my videos. This is what I buy, guys. I don't tell anybody else to buy it. I'm just showing you what I buy. If you have opinions on a certain brand or a certain product, I understand. But please don't leave hateful comments to me on my videos. Uh, these are the Dental Life uh, Daily Oral Care tr Dog Treats. They're chewy, chewy and porous texture. Helps clean, hard to reach teeth. And they've been helping, guys. My dentist... Er, Okay, you guys, that's why I told my husband we have to live on land. We can't have close neighbors because of how loud my dogs are when someone comes home. But anyways, these are the um, dental treats I give them. And these are on sale. I don't remember how much they were. They were either 6 or $7, and there's 40 chews in here. So um, I give Magnum the little, uh, the small size. These are the small to medium. So these only last me 20 days if I give them all one a day, the older dogs. So I'll probably have to, I should have got three bags. But I did it. So there's that. We'll save this for a moving box when we move again. Yeah, we'll save that. And then I think this is the puppy food and I think I got some milk bones. And I didn't get cat food. Um, what they do when you have automated uh, shipping, uh, automatic shipping, they sent me an email beforehand so I could adjust what I wanted if I wanted to. And I do not need cat food. And I had a feeling I wouldn't need cat food every four weeks. So the cat food is the only thing I took off of it. And then the dental treats and the uh, milk bowls are things I added. So you can adjust it um, to what you need. I was kind of worried about that. but. It's it's really easy to adjust to what you need. So, Ugh. Ugh. yeah, it's. I need to not be so close to neighbors. My neighbors are great and don't care that my dogs bark sometimes like that because they don't bark all the time. Only if someone comes to the door and if there's a squirrel outside. So, oh, I forgot. I got the canned. I did get the canned cat food. So, I did get this for Kitten. He gets a can um, every night for dinner. Forgot about that. I got four cans left, and there's, how many are in this? 20? 24. So, 24 cans in here, and I still got about four or five cans. So, that worked out okay. And then I got a huge box of medium-sized milk bones. This is what I give them when they go to bed at night. I give them all one bone, even Magnum. See, here's your bedtime snack. Yeah. And then I got a bag of uh, puppy food. Bag of puppy food. So, that's what I got. And I noticed at the store at PetSmart, this bag of dog food, this is the uh, 20 foam. 24 pound. Yeah, the 24 pound bag of dog food at PetSmart is 
If you go on PetSmart website and you do an in-store pickup for the same bag, it's $47.99. So it's $10 cheaper. So make sure if you're buying any of your dog food, no matter what brand it is, check when you go in the store how much it is and then look on their website to see how much it is if you order it and have it picked up in the store, like an in-store pickup so you're not getting charged delivery uh, from PetSmart. It's cheaper. It, it makes no sense to me. It's weird. So just thought I'd uh, let you guys know that. So check if you can do an uh, in-store pickup because mine is cheaper, $10 cheaper. That's a lot of money. So anyway, that's what we got from Chewy.com and I'll be back. I still got to clean my house. <laughs> Yes, we still gotta clean the house, don't we? What are you doing? What are you doing? You want this? You want this? You want the paper? You want the paper? You want the paper? Oh yeah. You want everything, don't you? Yes, you do. You want everything. He's a good boy. He's a good baby. He's a good baby. He's a good baby. He's a good baby. I'm filling up the boys' uh, dental sticks. <laughs> to the container and they think they're gonna get one which they might they might get one here's what they look like here's the one I give um, the size I've been giving Magnum but I think he can handle the big one now so when those are gone I'll probably just give him the big one from now on but, gotta fill up your container boys yes and maybe get one too I gotta show you guys how they line up. Um, they line up, and the, they've been lining up in the same order. Remember, I did a video. Somebody asked me, my friend, if they were lining up the same. Well, not the same like they used to, but they're lining up in an order now. It's so funny. I'll show you here when I'm done. Okay, let's go see if they line up in the same order. If if I'm right, Magnum will be in the middle of the four. If I'm right, let's see. Oh, Mozzie, you're out of order, Mozzie. You're supposed to be over here. No, nope, they didn't do it this time. <laughs> you guys just want your bone so bad. Usually Magnum's in the middle. Usually it goes Max, Marley, Magnum, Miggy, and then Mozzie's usually over here. Mozzie, you're out of order. You trying to get to be uh, first to get the bone? <laughs> okay. Magnum, I'm going to give you yours so you're out of here. <laughs> See? Nope. Mozzie didn't go on there. Oh, jeez. Oh, Pete. Good Lord. Good Lord. <laughs> so there you go. That's their dental bone they get every day. And then the bully sticks they chew on. And my vet says it's um, doing great. So... <coughs> watching the news and I can't believe there's another hurricane coming after Hurricane Harvey. I'm praying for everybody that's in Florida that everybody's safe and all your animals are safe. And I don't think I'm going to be grooming Mozzie today because I don't know if you can tell my voice but I'm having horrible sinus issues. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So I woke up the other day with a horrible sore throat and I've just been having horrible drainage and sneezing and just not feeling the greatest so I don't think I'm gonna be grooming any dogs today I think I'm just gonna finish cleaning up my house and um, rest so I'll probably groom tomorrow so maybe I'll do a video I don't know what I can do guys I've done a lot of grooming videos I'm not sure what else to show so I'll try to think of something in um, some kind of tip um, I can show you guys. So I'm going to hurry up and show you the mail I got yesterday and then I'm going to end the video. Okay, I received a, a great letter from um, Joanne who uh, warned me about my symptoms. Sounds like hers and she has Lyme disease. Um, so she sent me a letter um, telling me to talk to my doctor about that, which I will. I did make a doctor's appointment for um, September 12th. So I go to the doctor September 12th and I'll definitely mention that to my doctor, Joanne. And then I got a, another nice letter from, uh, Louise, Louise, and she lives in the United Kingdom and she sent me a nice letter and 
a picture of her um, dog Penny. Um, Penny passed in 2015. But here's Penny. So adorable. I'm going to hang this picture in my grooming room with all the other pictures I've gotten from you guys. And she also sent some sketches she's done, which are great. Love them. She's trying to learn how to uh, draw schnauzers. And then she sent me this, um, I'm going to call it a Christmas ornament because I'm going to put it on my Christmas tree. And I don't know if you made this or not. Is this handmade? It looks handmade. It's a little stuffed schnauzer and I'm going to hang it on my Christmas tree. Thank you so much. Okay guys, I'm going to end the video here and try to tidy up my house and get some rest, take some medicine and get some rest. So hopefully I'll groom um, a dog or two tomorrow if I'm feeling better and have a new, uh, some sort of grooming tip video. I'm going to try. Okay, talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.